What's up guys? I'm here with another logo design video. Right now you are seeing different color variations of the logo we are going to design today. Without further ado, let's get started. I've got a sketch here. And I'm going to start by locking the sketch layer and creating another layer on top of it for drawing. I'm using the pen tool to draw the lines. For the most part it's very obvious what I'm doing, so there is no need to explain every single detail. You may notice when I draw a line, I click on the last anchor point I've drawn to break the straight line and create a corner. Just like this. I'm clicking on the last anchor point that I've drawn to convert that anchor point into a corner. Parts of the video will be in time lapse as the process is about the same from this point on. So I'm gonna speed things up a bit now. Now that I'm done drawing the lines, I'm selecting everything that I've drawn. I want to make sure that both my stroke and fill are free of any color. And in the Pathfinder panel, I want to click on Divide. And after that, select Radial Gradient from the swatches and start coloring my logo shape. Using the direct selection tool, I'm selecting every individual piece one by one and adjusting the gradients. You can use many different gradients when painting your shape. I want to make a copy of this one by holding down the ALT key and pulling with the selection tool. I want to change the color of the gradient by carrying the swatches into the gradient panel. It's possible to adjust the gradient by moving the swatches around in the gradient panel. I also want to draw some highlights so there is more contrast. It's going to help the shapes stand out. I'll do that by drawing a line. Once I draw the line, I need to make sure the line has no color and holding down the shift button I need to select the line and the piece beneath it with the direct selection tool and click on divide in the pathfinder panel. This procedure is gonna slice that part of the logo and it will allow me to adjust the gradients on individual slices.
I'll now create additional copies by holding down the ALT key and pulling with the selection tool just like I did before. I wanna color this new icon with a different gradient and to create that gradient I'll simply carry the swatches into the gradient panel. I have created some shadows using gray and white radial gradient but I've got a problem with them. When I have a colored background they don't appear to be transparent. Luckily fixing this is easy. Select all the shadows and from blending mode's drop down menu in the transparency panel click on multiply. I want to give my icons a bit more contrast and I'll do that by adjusting the gradients. Ok guys, that's pretty much all I'm going to do with this design. Just wanna remind you that these logo shapes are available for purchase on cdpix.com. If you like design tutorials and videos, do subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.